That was the dark times, actually. <laughs> I kind of. And what you didn't realize is actually eighty percent of the guys I was with were not cool. I was carrying the coolness for them, just so you know. Uh, it was all me, bro. Yeah, that was all me. Sauce uh, is all you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all me. It was all me. <laughs> it was all the, you had all the charisma in the room. That's why you didn't let half of the other ones talk. <laughs> their, their bits were just this you is muscles honestly? glasses because he doesn't do bits or voices or anything he's just as strong <laughs> you should have seen the first episodes where he was hosting oh wow we're like i don't know if this is gonna work you should stop talking apparently he lives, <laughs> in, the, apparently he lives in the woods now in just in the woods the general woods yeah apparently he ran away into the woods oh we we're talking about people that live in the woods earlier is he doing well in the woods? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I bet you guys had kind of a nice nasty divorce, right? You and Muscles Glasses? One-sided. I look back at it, and I'm always like, oh, man, you know, shit, 22 years old. He was 22. I'm sure with my brain now, I could have serviced him better to yeah. mm -hmm. prevent him from making such an error. But like, I, like back then, people didn't understand the overhead of YouTube. If you mm -hmm. looked up like epic meal time value, it'll be like ten million dollars. And they look at me, they're like, "You have ten million dollars, ten million dollars a year." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm driving a fucking Nissan Sentra, you dumbass." There's not, fucking, I don't there's not it, even there's not even a single million here right now. Am I wrong about this? <laughs> like, like, tell me if I'm stepping out of my place here. But did did it inflame it a little bit when they came to my house? I was just about to say it's like twenty percent your fault. I <laughs> wish I wish the YouTube drama shit existed back then, so I'm gonna be like, "Don't blame me." Blame fucking FPS Russia. The guy's what went down at your house. A liar. His name's. We got there, and this guy has like four cars and a phone called YouTube Money. Dozens <laughs> of guys in the couch. He hires a guy to play the Xbox games for him. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like, and they're looking at me. They're like, "Yo, this is her. He's got the same amount of users." So it's happening. I'm like, ah, listen, there's six of you. It's one of him. I don't know how financially responsible that boat purchase is. <laughs> it was like a $30,000 boat. <laughs> but it was like, I was like, yeah, I left. And I was like, fuck. Fucking Kyle, man. Why do you have to name what? the boat YouTube money? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said phrase. it. It was so cool. When you said it, it was funny. Yeah. And, I, and, and I... I don't until think I would have like, bought the. Until he I wouldn't like, have bought the. Where's my boat? <laughs> where's, where's, where's my no, boat? I thought I was like hammering at home a little bit when you all had to share the same guest bedroom. It's like, listen, so you know, guys, like we're not really balling here. Like I got a three bedroom house. Like, like, like there was a part where you you guys were all going to bed, and I like opened the guest bedroom, and they're all in there asleep in one guest bedroom because I only have one, and they're on the floor in sleeping bags, and I go. Good night, epic meal time. And, and like two or three of them go, Good night, FPS Russia. And I close the door. <laughs> yeah, it's not even not even a joke. Like, like when I think about like the good times of, of like the internet or the experience, I'm not like, oh, when we got hooked up at the club and we did this, or like when we did it was literally like the times when like all three of us would humbly sit in your extra bedroom lying on mattresses on the floor and no one complained yeah like they were they really when we got back they were like oh i want to get a house in a pool and i'm like there's literally not even money for me to get a house and if anyone's getting a house in a pool it'll be me first so <laughs> let's not talk about that right now okay get in line you're like fourth to get house in a pool. <laughs> um, but yeah like, I, I, I remember and, things were simple back then and i and i actually loved that i was like that was peak yeah, no, no. It, 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 all that stuff was fun. I enjoyed having White Boy at my house that uh, that that summer. That was really fun to to like have somebody. White Boy was that, great because he was like we were doing the same thing more or less, but not competing competing against each other in any sort mm -hmm. of way. So it was like if me and you were sharing a place, like I think we'd have tried to collab more. But there, it, but if we're doing separate projects, there's a little bit of competition. A little bit. It's not like you're a gun or, channel. It's not like I'm like a, food. Or like there was like something like. Well, I can't upload this. I'm going to wait for Kyle to upload today. I'm not going to do it. It's like there would be, if not competition, at least like conscious maneuvers around. There would be some positive synergy for sure more than anything. Yeah. I, I think back on those times and I'm like, man, like it was people like we we were lying a lot, like in in terms of the success of it. Like 
we like I moved and acted like we were making the money that like Logan Paul makes right now. And that's not what the the financial scenario was at the time. But like I think about like the poor dudes that left the like like muscles and Tyler, and I'm like, bro, not the time. You should have stuck around for like three or four more years. Even Josh, who was on the show for you know three, four years after uh Alex and Tyler, like he ended up on the TV show. He ended up getting his uh, a, a hosting job on his own TV show because of that. I mean, he's making. Epic I think Tyler went and did day. like. Didn't Tyler go do some kind of rap battle thing or something? Um, he he may have. Uh, you know, I mean, like not as a career or anything. He may have been involved in something. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, I saw him at a rap battle. Move. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, did, he did go to a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he was into it. I know. Yeah. What, I. I, what was he an okay guy? I know you and Muscles' glasses fell apart, but but I always liked Muscles. I don't know if you like me. I not. I think I think uh, Muscles was like uh, like at the time, and apparently he's different now. But I don't know him now at all. Um, but it was just something that I heard like when I spoke with Tyler a couple of years ago was that he's uh, started like neither of those guys smoked the weed. They kind of smoked the weed and mellowed out a whole bunch since then. I mean, probably. Like 27 probably hits hard when it's like five years later and like Epic Mealtime has like the TV show coming out. And you're like, oh, maybe I left a, <laughs> a bad time to just go and not do anything really. Um, yeah, yeah and- I, like, like it just it, it's just such a fun thing, like like to pal around with you and do that thing. Bro, muscle and classes, like- literally, I only ask like one day a week from him one two hour day he had to come and he was the only guy on the team and like this was like what was hard for me to balance this out was like i had to explain to like guys like dave josh and amir who were hardworking guys i had to explain to them like why alex can come in four hours after them when the food is done eat a bunch of bacon and then leave and go to university to take classes that i literally was paying for because it was something we worked out i'm like why doesn't he clean i'm like because he's the guy we made him the guy. We thought it was fun and funny, but now he's the guy. And negotiation wise, like I don't have the money that he thinks I do to do this. And mm-hmm. I'm not foolish with the money. So like he just doesn't have to clean up. We we clean up. And um, they got it. They were workers. Like they understood that. But someone who was closer to him, like Tyler, I think that was like harder to swallow because like he, they were the same age. They were best friends. They both didn't, They both didn't have a real job at this point in their life. So it was like, I look back and I'm like, oh, I didn't have the right leadership skills to, to explain this properly. I was also stressing. And like when they came up to me, like sometimes people would come up to me and be like, like we were in a, your house sharing a guest bedroom, right? Three of us in a room. Well, then we moved to LA and we literally stayed in Ludacris's old house, which was the rent was 45000 per month and then we didn't <laughs> pay that we, we we split that with a company a company paid most of mm-hmm. that we just stayed there and like what happened was when we were there like we we each had a room and like one of the rooms was a closet but when i say it's a closet the closet was like 20 feet by 20 feet okay and there's no clothes in there because it was a rented house. <laughs> <laughs> but like so he has a 20 foot by 20 foot space and it's connected to a bedroom and there's a bathroom in there. It's private, a private bathroom. You can close the door to whatever. Yeah, the lap of luxury. And, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, some people like had like more, but like when I say this had like a 20 by 20, like room with no closet that he slept in. Um, I should also mention that this place had uh, two saunas, a pool, a movie theater. I'm not even exaggerating. You can look up this house. It's, it's, it's 16, 1659 Marley drive. Or 1600 Marley Drive. If you go Marley Drive, it's behind Chateau Marmont in LA. If you look at like the, the cloud house or these houses that they have now that these YouTubers do, like these are the houses, but this was like a far superior one because it had like the gym, the sauna, the theater. And it's like, you want to be a rapper? You want to be a rapper, but you're unhappy with the setup here? Jeez. Well, what would you do Whoa. on tour in a tour bus? Like artists that go on tour in a tour bus have less than a 20 by 20 space. We've new artists. They had, they had little fucking pods on their bus. Um, and like, you know, this wasn't, this wasn't enough for them, but that was my, I look back and I'm not like, he's an idiot. 
because uh, he was probably smarter than I was at that age. But I'm just like, oh, my lack of leadership skills to really explain to him in a good way that this was an opportunity um, mm-hmm. is something that I failed. And I say that because you knew you knew Tyler, Kyle. I mean, I can't say much for Muscles. We we kind of like we all joked because we thought it was funny that Muscles Glasses was Muscles Glasses. Because we're like, I can't believe Alex is like everyone's so hyped about him. It's Alex, like he's eating bacon. Like Alex eating bacon is like the hypest shit. Like we found that funny, but like. Tyler was and is like genuinely a very funny person. Like yeah. that's a guy like, outside of Epic Mealtime, hang around him. Like you'll laugh. If you look back at old Epic Mealtime episodes, like the things that he does on camera, you laugh. He's a funny guy. But you know, mm-hmm. if like, I mean, my ego was bad at like 27. If I had that ego in that scenario at 22, like I would have really fucked up. I would have fucked up a lot. If I were in your position, Kyle, even just by myself, like I would have fucked up. Like, you know, you, you pushed the envelope, you went like further, you didn't have like the team. I mean, like you had one kitty, which is worth like a dozen normal men, but like, he, I mean, he pushed the envelope, but it was an envelope that was pushed to him that did the damage <laughs> in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was With, um, uh, because of the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. No, I never, um, I, I, I don't know. Like, like I never, um wanted to be too crazy frivolous with money like 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 um I, like i liked my i immediately bought a new car um and uh and and then me and my dad immediately like i was like dad i'm gonna buy a truck do you want to do you want to buy a truck with me let's just buy a whole truck and then we quickly realized that you can't buy half a truck so i had to uh get a check from father and then then it was his whole truck <laughs> you can't you can't you can't you can't both put twenty thousand dollars into a thing because then one person gets mad about how the other person uses it. Mm. So just write me a check and we'll like be a- fine. So we got that sorted out right away. But but yeah, and then I bought that boat. That boat was not supposed to be a frivolous purchase. That was supposed to be a smart idea. But I got like, this happens to me sometimes. I get, I get swept up in like the idea that we're going to do a thing. So, and I won't let anything get in my way. It's like, look, I said I was going to do a thing. Oh, now, it, now Alex is, is out and we can't get a house. I'll get a fucking boat. Like, it's like, wait a minute. Who am I trying to beat? There's no one to beat here. There's no competition. It's just us. It's just me. I could sit here and do nothing, or just fucking take thirty mm-hmm. more thousand dollars out of the bank and buy the house. That's what I should have fucking done. I don't know why I didn't just do that. That was yeah, absurd. That's how, we're that's uh, how we're you talking ahead because you're when you're your, your own competition like that. Like that's how you progress and get huge.